Three, grammar. Wow, he is strong. He can lift one hundred kilograms. He is strong. He can lift one hundred kilograms. Exclamatory sentences. Wow, how strong! Do you see this right here? This is an exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It shows that you are amazed. This man is amazing. You feel amazed. Wow, how strong. You say this to emphasize the adjective strong. He is very strong. How strong. Or you can say he is so strong. Wow, what a man. He is such a strong man. You can use any of these to show the same thing, to say the same thing. Okay, what is the difference? The word strong is an adjective. The word man is a noun. If you have an adjective, you should use how or so. How strong or he is so strong. If you have a noun, like man, you use what? What a man. And of course, before man, you need an article. What a man. If you have orange, you say, wow, what an orange. It's so tasty, so delicious. If you have an adjective and then a noun, strong man, you must use such. He is such a strong man, okay? If you have an adjective or an adverb, What's an adverb? An adverb is like quickly, slowly. Adjective, quick, slow. Adverb, quickly, slowly. You can say, look how quickly he can move. How quickly he can move. Adjective or adverb. If you have a noun, use what? If you have adjective and then a noun, use such. That's easy. Now, look at this sentence. He can lift 100 kilograms. This is what we call the result. Okay, we know he is strong. What is the result of him being strong? The result is that he can lift 100 kilos. Not everybody can do that. Now, let's move to the clauses of result. What we will do now is combine. This and the result. In one sentence, we say, He is so strong. He is so strong that he can lift 100 kilograms. You see, we combined he is so strong with the result. This is one sentence. We used that between them. Or you can say, he is such a strong man, he is such a strong man, that he can lift 100 kilograms. You see, we used exactly the same sentence from here, and we combined this, we added this, and we put that between them. These are two ways to combine the result with the exclamatory sentence. If you only have an adjective, you so... If you have an adjective and a noun, use such and put that between the result and the exclamatory sentence. One little thing. Also, use so before much or many, like what? You can say, this man has so much power that he can lift 100 kilograms, or you can say that he has so many muscles. You know, we use many with countable nouns, like one pen, two pens, one muscle, two muscles. We use much with uncountable nouns, like milk, water. So you say, he has so much power, or he has so many muscles. If you have a lot of, use that with such. You say, he has such a lot of power that he can lift 100 kilograms. And notice that that, this that, can be omitted, 
can be removed, especially in spoken English. It is correct to say he is so strong he can lift 100 kilograms when you speak. When you write, you write that. When you speak, it is correct to say he is so strong that he can lift 100 kilograms or omit that he is so strong he can lift 100 kilograms. Now practice. Complete the dialogues with how, what, so, or such. 1. I had a tiring day. Tiring makes me feel tired, exhausted, no energy. Okay, should we look here or here? Do we have a result like here? I had a tiring day, no result, so you must look here. Okay, tiring day. Day is a noun. Tiring is an adjective. Adjective, noun. So it's just like strong man. Tiring day. You such. I had such a tiring day. Why? What happened? We had a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. That we didn't have time for a break. No time to take some rest. That we didn't have time for a break. This right here is the result just like he can lift 100 kilograms we didn't have time for a break this is the result of having a lot of work a lot off if you have a lot off you such so you haven't eaten you feel hungry no i'm hungry i could eat anything right now do we have a result I don't see that. We don't have that. Well, yes, this is a result. I am hungry because I'm hungry. This is the result of me being hungry. I could eat anything right now. That can be omitted, remember? We removed that from here. So you should look here. Closes of results. We have a result. Hungry is an adjective. So we should look here. So hungry. I am so hungry. You can say it with that. That I could eat anything. Or you can omit that if you want. 2. Why are you late? I woke up. Woke up is the past of wake up. Late. That I missed the bus. I missed the bus. I didn't get it. I didn't get on the bus. This right here is the result. That I missed the bus. Okay, late. Late is an adjective. It's just like so strong. You so. So late that I missed the bus. And the next one was half an hour later. A nightmare. Nightmare is a bad dream. Okay, do we have a result here? No, no result. Look here, nightmare. Is nightmare an adjective or a noun? It is a noun, just like here, just like man. A nightmare, a man. Wow, what a nightmare. Did Mr. Smith notice I wasn't here? Notice, aware, realized. I wasn't here? No, he is busy. A lot of work. He was working. These days, he never comes out of his office. Do we have a result? Yes, this is a result. He is very busy. Because he is busy, he never comes out of his office. Okay, look here. Do we have an adjective and then a noun? Or just an adjective? Busy. Busy is an adjective. We use so. So busy. So strong. So busy these days that he never comes out of his office. You can... Put that here if you want. Lucky I am. Lucky if things go your way without you planning for them to go that way. That means you are lucky. Lucky I am. And this is the beginning of the sentence. You can't use so. So lucky. This is the beginning of the sentence. How lucky I am. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.